Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make these super delicious, sweet and filling sunflower seed butter pancakes. So if you want to see how I did this recipe, please stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to start off with four ounces of softened cream cheese, which is about a half of a pack and three eggs. The next thing we're going to add is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I only had imitation, so that's what I used. And next, we're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of sweetener, sweetener of your choice. Um, this is what I had. I had a huge bag of this, so I just used it. Um, but you can use stevia extract or whatever your sweetener of choice is. And then you're going to go ahead and add a dash of cinnamon and give it a good mix. Next, we're going to add three tablespoons of almond flour and one tablespoon of coconut flour. Coconut flour really does a good job at absorbing some of that moisture and really adding some thickness to the batter. Next, we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Now go ahead and give it a good mix. Now that everything is all mixed up, here comes the fun part. We're going to go ahead and add a full tablespoon of some sunflower seed butter to the mix. Now that we have everything mixed up, we're gonna go ahead and add some butter to our pan. Go ahead and get that nice and melty. And we're gonna go ahead and make our pan. Okay, so your batter should be nice and thick like this. Like I said, that coconut flour really does a really good job at thickening up the batter to make it resemble a normal pancake batter. Now you're just gonna make sure that you give it enough time to solidify, to cook on the other side, so that when you flip it over, it's not you know running all over the place. So definitely give it some time to make sure it browns nice and well, and you know give it a good check. And then we're gonna go ahead and flip that thing over when it's nice and ready.
Do you see how delicious this looks? Like no one can tell me that this doesn't look like a regular, degular pancake. A good one at that. <laughs> Okay, so now that our pancakes are done, it's time for our topping. So now we're gonna take another full tablespoon of sunflower seed butter and then add about another tablespoon of butter. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in the microwave and give it a good mix. Now, if you guys know anything about sunflower seed butter, if you don't mix it well, it can get really thick at the bottom. And mine was super chunky and really, really thick. So it was a little hard for me to melt this down. But if yours is creamy, you might have to do a couple you know, of cycles to just get it the texture that you want it to be. So I think I put mine in for like 20 seconds. It wasn't enough and I put it in again. So once you get that butter and the sunflower seed butter all mixed together, that is pretty much your topping. And when I tell you this is delicious, this is delicious. And it makes the pancakes so, so filling. Like normally two pancakes, it might not fill up the average person. But once you put this on top, it just makes it extra, extra filling and so good and sweet. It's something about that some received butter and the butter mixed together. It is absolutely delicious, okay? understand me when I say it is delicious. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just empty all that on top of the pancakes. And then I'm just gonna add a few dollops of sugar-free syrup. If you want, you can leave that out and you can just do the sunflower seed butter. But I just put a little bit on there um, just for some extra sweetness. And then I'm gonna top everything off with some whipped cream of course that's mandatory and then just for a little extra crunch a little extra something i added some sunflower seeds on top and that's totally optional but when i tell you it tastes good it really did taste delicious i love that like extra crunch on top of it. just gave it a little extra something and there you have it you guys keto for show sunflower seed butter pancakes if you guys try this recipe, don't forget to tag me at Keto Foot Show. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.